hello everyone in this video you will learn how to make this cool motion graphics uh, with simple shapes and hdr image so let's get start so first uh, you have to enable two add-ons uh, that is uh, the extra object add-ons for the curve and for mesh and uh, one more add-on you can enable that is node regular add-on which is really helpful uh, when you deal uh, with the nodes in the shaders in the combustor or in the geometry nodes enable these add-ons uh, then you will have uh, extra objects for the mesh as well as uh, for this uh, curve so let's add a uh, extra object for the mesh so we going to this math and then xyz mesh surface so this is a shell object so there are different types of this like this one kellen bottle and helical so in this case we're going to use this shell and then you have to make this number double because we need a more number of subdivisions to get a smooth surface for the reflection see we have this now let's make this object smooth shade smooth and we're going to assign the material and add the hdr image to our scene let's go to the shading add the material let's rename this as graphics and then we have to add the hdr image go to this and then press this one and let's add the environment textures and we're going to use the hdr images uh, from the poly heaven so let's probably add this one this shanghai and preview this uh, we have this hdr image and our object so next we're going to do is uh, we're going to hide this uh, hdr image for the background and we're going to use only this for the reflections let's add a second panel and this will be for our this world and let's also add the mapping nodes uh, that will be needed uh, for the animation of this hdr image and let's uh, duplicate this one and we're going to mix them uh, with this and then we're going to add is camera tree so this second one is only visible to the camera and this one is for the reflection so let's make this for the timing black and we're going to increase the strength of this around two or three and one more node we're going to add here is that the hue saturation hue color so we have everything this setup and also we have this material now let's change the render setting first we're going to enable this ambient inclusion second is screen space reflection and just open this panel and make this precision one and disable this half trace uh, option then go to the color management and change this standard to filmic and also make this around high contrast okay in the material first we're going to enable the screen space reflection and the material settings are very simple just we have to make this metallic and roughness around 0.25 to 3 and then we're going to make this clear coat 10 and make this color a very dark it's something like this now we have this then uh, we're going to adjust our camera and the rotation of this object so let's do that in this in this way so we have this camera so let's first clear uh, the rotation of this camera then rotate along the x-axis then move away along the y-axis something like this and then we're going to move slightly up this camera and then we're going to rotate our this object So now let's go to the shading now if we rotate this hdr image see we have this motion of these reflections so we're going to animate the x and z rotation of this hdr image make the keyframe at the zero angle and then we're going to make this at 360 uh, full rotation and also press t in this panel and time panel and make this linear so now if we play the animation see we have this motion of this hdr image 
and next uh, we going to adjust this hue and the uh, roughness settings of this material and base color uh, to get a nice color combination for this object and one more thing uh, we going to add is that the key light just to highlight our this uh, main object just move up something like here and make this power around 5000 and color maybe for the timing we can use this sand color change this roughness see we can control the spread of this light and here we have this color for the underlying mesh now let's adjust uh, find this yellow part on this reflections this one and then we are going to change the hue and let's slightly reduce this color of this object and I am going to also change the, the color of this light see we have very nice uh, looking object and then uh, we're going to add a background plane and some of the object to fill up this uh, frame okay let's uh, do that go to this and first we're going to add the plane just go to the camera view and rotate this along the x-axis scale this uh, so that it fill up this uh, frame and go to the side view and move this uh, plane behind this object so we have this and next uh, we're going to add some of the objects to this scene let's first uh, add a material to this plane uh, plane let's rename this as background and also this material as background i don't want this principal shader because if we use this principal shader then it's going to affect the color of this plane based on this hdr image so that i don't want so we are going to use uh, the emission shader and then we are going to add a ramp node and after that uh, we are going to add the gradient this gradient texture and we are going to also add the mapping node further adjust this uh, texture now let's use this object coordinates in the mapping it will center this gradient texture at the center of this object and we need this spherical uh, this spherical gradient and we're going to move this to this side and also make this B spline around 0.9 and this color this is around 0 0.01 and make this strength around 5 to 6 so we have this very smooth a uh, gray background and it will basically pop up the color of this object and this is uh, basically our let me increase slightly more uh, uh, six strength and we have this background and now we're going to add the objects so for the object we're going to use extra object that is a uh, diamond this brilliant diamond so let me see where it is here it is just move this uh, to this side and assign the same material uh, to this so let me go to the material and assign this uh, material graphics to this object and then are uh, we going to basically adjust on the scale and position of this object and i'm going to rotate this so that it is pointing to this object just a basic composition now our frame is filled up with different kind of objects so now you have three uh, things on this light on this material and the hdr image so you can play with these parameter to get a different result i think we have to adjust the light
see now let's maybe try a different hdr image maybe or oh, this one it has nice colors let me make this at the center now you have this very beautiful color combination now let's add a different object to the scene this main object maybe let's try this uh, twisted torus uh, let me hide this and these are the settings so basically we have to increase the uh, minor radius and then we have to decrease these segments and increase this uh, segments to maximum this is 256 shell and we have this torus first we're going to make this shade smooth and then to bring that edges back we have to use this bevel modifier so let's add this around 0 0.005 and this to be 5 so we have this and now let's add the material to this object the same material and we can slightly rotate this see you have a different graphics you can also change these uh, scattered objects to completely change the scene you can also bump up this uh, saturation to further enhance uh, this colors uh, of this hdr image so let's try a different one now you have this uh, color and we can change our light as well and let's try one more object maybe this normal torus object so i'll show you how to animate this camera that is also a very simple uh, just add an empty at this center of this our main object let's add this uh, empty and then we're going to parent our this camera to this empty select this one then this one then control p so it is get parent and now we can just uh, by rotating this empty we can make nice this camera movement let's also animate this go to the first frame make this around minus five degree then go to the end of this frame also make this minus five and then go to the middle of this range and make this five degree and then press t to make this linear so now you have this kind of motion for the camera you can also combine the by changing the location of this empty or you can also change this scale to make this zoom in zoom out effect so you have this uh, graphics and one more element we can add to this base material is the bump map that will add a further uh, variation uh, to this uh, graphics so let's add this bump map and we're going to use a uh, noise based textures so you can use any type of noise uh, we're going to use this Voronoi uh, for this case Voronoi distance and see we have see we have this completely different structure and uh, let me make this around 3 and maybe this strength around 0.25 5 we can also make this underlying structure in motion by just animating this rotation you can also animate the, the location as well i'm going to animate this rotation uh, with this shortcut to add the driver press hash then type frame and we're going to divide this by 2 around 150 to decrease the speed see we have this underlying structure is moving with time 
so now you have this a different structure for this same graphics let us see on different objects maybe on twister torus so this is before and this is after and this is on this shell and you can also use a noise texture as well and you can also combine these two textures as well let me add this maximum node to further add variation in this underlying structure so there are many ways to combine these textures to create different pattern for underlying structure so basically you have these three elements to play with to get a different uh, pattern color for your graphics onto a simple shape and this is it about this tutorial i hope you learned something and the project files are available on my patreon page and if you like this work then please do support me and thank you for watching until next time happy noting bye